Hey guys, it's me again. It's really late. I couldn't sleep. So I wanted to make a quick video for you before you start your journey on this program. Um, we always talk about goals and what are your goals? And we've even posted in the group, what are your goals for this program? And some of you are like, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose five pounds. I want to drop a jean size. I want to feel good about myself. I want to you know, be less puffy. I want to have more energy. Okay. So I want you to get pen and paper. I'll wait, seriously, or pause me. And I want you to write down that goal. Now, what we're going to do, I want you to go a little bit deeper than that because a goal is just that. It's a goal. If you're thinking, especially if you have a long road to go, like I have at least 30 more pounds to go before I'm back at you know transformation number two. If I look at that 30 pounds and I think, okay, it's you know, it's February and I'm going to lose 20, 30 pounds by June. That's a long way to go. If somebody puts a brownie in front of me right now, I'm going to think, okay, well, my goal was by June. I'm probably going to eat that brownie. I'm not going to lie. But if I dig deeper, if I dig into my why and I keep reminding myself of why I have that goal of 30 pounds, that brownie is going to look a little less appealing. So here are some things I want you to do to dig deeper. And you know your why, it's there, but you probably haven't said it out loud even to yourself. So this is gonna you know, get a little more emotional. Write down your goal, whatever your goal is. I wanna lose 30 pounds by June. Okay, so now, here's question number one. What are some things that you've gone without in life because you're not at that goal? There has to be something in your life that you've missed out on or you haven't done because you're not there yet. What is it? Write it down. So some things for me are, my mom even pointed out, she's like, Diane, she's like, I'm making this scrapbook for Bryce and you're really not in any of the pictures at all. It's because I'm taking the pictures because I really don't want to be in them right now. And this is something that, you know, this isn't new. This is something that this was a past problem too. I don't like pictures. I hate pictures. Even if somebody takes a picture of me, I don't want to see. I'm not that person that takes a picture and then I want to see it. I don't like them. It makes me upset. It makes me depressed to see them. So I want to be, when I was at or close, I wasn't ever at my goal, but I was pretty close, maybe like 15 or 20 pounds off and I was feeling really good. I didn't mind pictures. I didn't mind people taking pictures of me. I didn't mind them. I liked shopping. It was a, a feeling of freedom. I want that back. And if you haven't had that feeling yet, it's so worth it to be able to take a picture and not be like, oh my God, I probably look hideous on that. I hope nobody puts that on Facebook. I hope no one sees that picture. And then you're freaking out about it. So these are some things that I've missed out on. I'm not in a lot of his you know, pictures because I am on my goal and I feel crappy. So, um, number two, how has being without those things made you feel and affected your quality of life? Well, you know, I missed out on memories. It's memories that I've missed out on. So, and maybe your goal is I want to be in a bikini by summer. That's great. Why? Why aren't you comfortable in a bikini now? You know, you're without that now, maybe you haven't booked that trip. Maybe you're not taking vacations. Maybe you're not um, going to a water park. Maybe you're not doing this or doing that with your kids or your friends or your family or, you know, whatever it is because of that. Write that down. That is the why. And your quality of life could be so much better if you had that free freedom feeling. You'd be able to go out and do anything and not be self-conscious. I know my in Bryce's baptism video, I'm pulling at my shirt every two seconds. I was so uncomfortable. I was so hot. My clothes were so tight. My bra was digging into me. And the whole video, all you see me doing is pulling at my clothes. I hate that. My quality of life sucks. So dig deeper. When I look at that brownie, I'm going to think, I've gone without pictures. I've gone without memories. You know, I love being a mom. I've worked so hard to be a part of these memories and my weight is holding me back. That brownie is not going to do that to me. Third question. If life were perfect one year from now, what kind of things would you do? What kind of things would you have? And what kind of places would you go to? So if you were at that goal, and nothing was holding you back. If you were there, 
what would you do? What would life look like? Would it be different? You know, when someone first asked me that, this is what I kind of pictured in my head. You know those pictures of people that are like really, really happy and you see them like jumping and they're like, and they look like so free and they're like jumping in there and they don't have fat rolls hanging everywhere. Um, and they just look so free and happy and they're like jumping on trampolines. And they're like jumping, like it's a jumping, happy person. That's the, that's, the, that's the kind of thing I picture. I'm like, that's what f- true freedom looks like for me. Or people at the beach and they're like in their bathing suit and they're like hopping on the beach. And they're like, I know um, one of my sorority sisters, she has this picture of her at the beach and she's doing like this dance, like I don't know what it's called. Like it's like a split in the air. I'm like, oh my God, she looks like she's just so free and having fun there. If life were perfect in one year from now, I would have a picture like that. So that's the kind of things you got to envision because your goal is going to be hard to turn down the bad stuff. Your why will keep it further away and it will keep you going. And when you want to give up, when you're at work all day and you don't want to work out and you're so tired, when you picture that in your head, that beat, that the beach picture of you hopping and you jumping, you're going to be like, Oh my God, okay, that brownie isn't worth it because in one year from now I could have that. I could have that. The things that are holding me back aren't going to hold me back anymore. So dig deep, write it down, writing it down works. I want everyone to do this. I want to rock this group out. I want this to be the best group ever. I want everybody to participate. I want everybody to be friends with each other, friend each other on Facebook, be friends, make new friends, support one another. If you see someone who hasn't posted yet and I haven't caught them yet, reach out to them. Everybody make new friends, everybody friend each other. This is all about support network. We're all going to do it. We're all going to rock it. We're all going to have something different in March. It's going to be different and we're going to help each other get there. Okay. Okay. You can do this. You can. I believe in you. The group believes in you. Do not let anything get in your way. Don't let Valentine's get in your way. Don't let anything get in your way. You can do this. You are important. You are worth it and you owe it to yourself to do this. So let's get after it.